Three years ago, I visited Zambia for the first time to film leopards in the South Luangra National Park. I was absolutely blown away by the sheer amount of wildlife and I just can't keep away. Last year, I returned to the South Luangra again and it's actually there that I took my shot pool party, which is in this year's Wildlife Photographer of the Year, People's Choice category. For the third year running, I've returned to Zambia, but this time things are a little bit different. Firstly, I'm in a completely new national park, the biggest national park in Zambia, Kafui. And it's December, so we're in the rainy season. It's a lot greener and the wildlife is a lot more distributed and there's plenty of growth for the animals to hide behind. Zambia's national parks are huge and at this time of year they're relatively undervisited. So chances are if you encounter something cool, you're going to be the only car there. Also, the really exciting thing about Zambia is they've got the best safari guides around. Every time I come here, I learn so much. They have an innate passion for nature and they've grown up in the bush. This time around, I'm with Muller from Ela Safari Lodge, our base here in Kafui National Park. Kafui covers over 20,000 square kilometres and it's home to everything from lion and cheetah to eland and aardvarks. The Kafui River that it gets its name from is the longest river in Zambia and is a great place to spot wildlife from. Here at Ela Safari Lodge, they're really eco-conscious. So not only do they have an electric Land Rover as a game viewer, they've also got this electric boat that I'm on at the moment. And it's perfect for approaching the hippos here on the Kafui River because it's almost completely silent. And if we're really lucky, we might get some elephants coming down to drink. Hippos are notoriously hard to approach, so it's great to see them so closely from the boat. And the e-boat is absolutely brilliant for getting close to the elephants that come down to drink. They can be a little shy, but with the boat being so quiet and them being relatively used to it, they're able to go about their business normally. Kafui holds some of the biggest elephant herds I've ever seen and it's amazing to get some stormy backdrops behind the herds and get them playing and bathing in the water. Elephants are truly magnificent animals. I've never seen Zambia so green. The lush grasses are the perfect backdrop to shoot against and the wildlife really does pop out against it. I'm seeing animals and birds like baboons, puku and bee eaters that I have seen before, but animals like the Defasa waterbuck, roan antelope and hearty beast are completely new species for me. It's always exciting to come across different signs in the bush and these are the best signs of all, lion tracks. And fingers crossed, if we follow these in the wet mud, we might come across this pride. And come across them we did. Over our stay with Ela Safari Lodge, we saw lion almost every day, which is anyone's dream on safari. We saw huge males complete with full manes and even lion cubs who posed perfectly for us atop a mound where we could stay with them even after sunset to get some silhouettes. We're literally probably about 300 metres from Ela Safari Lodge at the end of our very last drive and everything's come together. Out there under Muller's spotlight is a serval, one of Africa's small cats and my first African small cat and it's absolutely stunning. The leopards and lions might be awesome, but for me, that is the highlight of this trip. Hunting frogs completely undisturbed by our light. Amazing.